Hey, it's Bob Nagan, and in this episode of Real Retail TV, we're going to talk politics. But before we start talking politics, let me just encourage you, if you haven't registered for the Retail Success Summit yet, now's the time to do it. We are approaching. We are approaching. It's less than two weeks away right now. Uh, so excited about all of the speakers, everything that it's, it's, I think it's probably going to be our very best retail success summit ever. And we've had a lot of really, really great ones. And don't forget, you get a thousand dollar money, better than money back guarantee. If you come to the summit and at the end of day one, you aren't thrilled, thrilled with what you're learning. If you're not 100% confident, you're going to make your money back 10, 20, 50, 100 times. Just come see somebody on our team and we'll give you all of your money back plus $1,000. So you take no risk by coming, but the upside, phew, it ain't going to break you, but it might make you. So register today. So let's talk politics. And when I say let's talk politics, I'm not here to, an en to endorse a candidate, a movement, or a philosophy. I'm here to talk about politics as a noun. A noun is a person, place, or thing. Politics is a thing. And right now we are in the heat of a very, very divisive election cycle. And you certainly have, here in the United States, you certainly have a right, and it is a right, to say what you want and to support who you want. That is your right. And uh, if you choose to exercise it, good on you. But what I want to say to you as someone who cares about your success is the minute that you put, that you plant your own personal political flag in your store, you are going to immediately and very, very quickly lose about half of your customers. Now, you might be in the business uh, that will, if you do that, you will attract more customers and not lose any customers. But for most independent retailers, if you're trying to support a broad, diverse customer base, the name of the game is to keep your nose out of politics. Don't talk to people about it when they're in your store. Deflect it tactfully. Make sure that your team members don't talk about it on the floor. You know, leave it alone. Leave it alone. Uh, it will be better for your business, and I think it will also be better for your sanity. So, again, it is your choice. So, uh, one request. If you, uh, in the comments section down below, Please don't put anything political. <laughs> you can agree with me. We can talk about how politics affects your business, but I don't want to hear an endorsement of a candidate. I don't want to hear an endorsement of a philosophy. I don't want to hear an endorsement of a movement. Why? Because we want to keep the politics out of whiz-bang retail training. So thank you for that. And again, if you haven't registered for the summit yet, do it right now. I would love to see you in Grand Rapids. Mm -hmm.